This table shows the height and mass of seven learners. We can show this information on a graph, called a scatter plot. And because we have two variables, namely height and mass, we call this bivariate data. Height, the variable shown on the horizontal axis, is called the independent variable. In mathematics, we call this axis the x-axis. Mass, the variable shown on the vertical axis, is called the dependent variable. In mathematics, we call this axis the y-axis. The reason mass is the dependent variable is because the mass of a person depends on their height. They will normally indicate which variable is which by using an x and a y in the table. So remember, the independent variable is always shown on the horizontal, or x-axis. And the dependent variable is always shown on the vertical, or y-axis. Will a line, or curve, best fit this data? Definitely a line. We call this the line of best fit. In grade 12, we also call it the regression line. Some people also call it the least squares regression line. Or just the least squares line. We will call it the regression line. In grade 11, we only had to do a rough drawing of this line. To draw it accurately, we need the equation of the line. Let's go on to see how to find this. By now, you should know that the equation of any straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m gives the gradient and c gives the y-intercept. In statistics, we will use the letter b instead of m, and the letter a instead of c. And not only do we use a and b instead of m and c, we also write the equation in a different order. Some people also use capital letters for a and b. But that's not all. In statistics, they also put a cap on the y. So whenever you see one of these equations, you must know that it is the equation of the regression line for a set of bivariate data. From now on, we will use this equation, with the capital A and B. Please note, we need to use a calculator to find the equation. The calculator we like to use is the Casio FX82 ES+. To put the calculator into stats mode for regression, you need to press mode and then 2 twice. You will then see this on the calculator screen. If you have this Casio, please pause the lesson and do it before going on. Next, you need to enter the x values in the x column. Use the equal sign to get to the next row. Then you need to use the arrows on the blue circle to go to the top of the y column. Once there, you need to enter all the y values, again using the equal sign to get to the next row. After entering all the x and y values, you need to press the AC button. This will clear your screen. Next you need to press Shift and then Stat, which is also the button for 1. And then you need to press 5 for regression. You should now see the following on the screen. To get the value for A, you need to press 1 and then the equal sign. Correct to two decimal places. The value of A is minus 74,88. To get the value for B, you first need to clear by pressing the on button. We then again press shift and then stat. And then 5 for regression. To get the value for B, you need to press 2 and then the equal sign. Correct to two decimal places. The value is 0, 0,83. The equation of the regression line is therefore y hat 
equals minus 74 comma 88 plus 0 comma 83x. Please pause the lesson if you need to. Next, we are asked to draw the regression line on the scatter plot. To do this, we can substitute any two x values between 155, the smallest value, and 190, the biggest value. I have decided to use the values 160 and 180. Next, we substitute 160 in place of x in the equation. Correct it two decimal places. This gives a value of 57,92 for y hat. Let's plot this point on the scatter plot. Next, we substitute 180 in place of x in the equation. Correct to two decimal places. This gives 74,52 for y hat. Let's also plot this point on the scatter plot. To draw the regression line, we draw a line through these two plotted points. The gradient in our equation is 0, 0,83, which is positive. This confirms that our regression line is correct because it is sloping upwards. Please note, when the line is sloping upwards, it means that both variables are increasing at the same time. According to the equation, the y-intercept is minus 74,88, but is this correct? If you extend the line to cut the y-axis, it certainly does not look correct. But you need to be careful here. Because the axes start at 30 and 140, not at zero. If we draw the scatter plot 100% to scale, with both axes starting at zero, the y intercept will then be at minus 74,88. So be careful when working with scatter plots. The y intercept given by the equation of the regression line will not always make sense. After all, no one can have a mass of minus 74,88 kilograms. This completes the lesson. Make sure you study the notes on how to use the calculator to find A and B, and therefore the equation of the regression line. Good luck with the test.